Howdy, welcome to the Hobby Farm guys, I'm Steve, and in today's video we spotlight the Oberhausley goat. While much of the world enjoys goat milk, in the US cows rule the dairy market. Many people are interested in producing their own milk at home, but aren't keen on keeping a cow. Today we spotlight a goat breed known for sweet milk that's often described as being the closest thing to a cow's milk you can get from a goat, the Oberhausley. You're not going to want to miss it. Oberhausley goats hail from the mountains of northern and central Switzerland. On the eastern side, they normally bear horns and historically accompanied semi-nomadic farm workers as a mobile milk supply. Those around brines and burn are naturally pulled or lacking horns and were traditionally used for home production and are often called Oberhausley Breinzer. Oberhausley goats are first imported to the United States in the early 1900s, though it wasn't until 1936 that purebred herds were established and maintained in the U.S. The breed was initially called the Swiss Alpine. Its registrations were included in the Alpine Stud Book and its genetics contributed to the Alpine breed. In 1977, the name Oberhausley was adopted and registration records were separated from the Alpines. Meanwhile, in Europe, Switzerland set up its herd book in 1930 and Italy in 1973. The goats are common in Switzerland and are well known in Italy for the ricotta cheese made from their milk. Less known in the US, they are a great addition to the hobby farm. The Oberhausley is a goat of medium size, with a deep chest and a straight or dished face with no evidence of a Roman nose, and erect ears. Waddles are common, but for a kid to be born with waddles, at least one parent must have them. Only bucks have beards. The coloring is chamoisie, described as a bay or reddish brown with black markings. Two black stripes from the eyes to the black muzzle give a distinct facial appearance. The forehead is nearly all black and black stripes run from the base of each ear and continue along the neck and back to the tail as a dorsal stripe. The Oberhausley has a black belly and a light gray to black udder. The legs are black below the knees and hocks and ears are black on the inside. Due to a recessive gene, Oberhausleys may occasionally be born completely black. To limit this gene, bucks that are all black may not be registered, although all black does still qualify to be registered. Mature bucks are 30 to 34 inches tall at the withers and weigh around 150 pounds. Does are 28 to 32 inches at the withers and weigh in around 120 pounds. Females are bred for dairy production. In Italy, they're popular for fresh milk, cheese, yogurt, and ricotta. It's believed that the Oberhausley goat's milk is the closest tasting to that of cow's milk. Steady producers, they produce from a half to one and a half gallons each day. Their milk has a fine sweet flavor and averages 3.6% butter fat and 3% protein. Oberhausley goats are strong for their size with powerful rear legs. Due to their strength and courage, they're often used as pack goats despite their smaller stature. Oberhausleys are often born with a trait called hockiness, a tendency for hind hocks to be turned inward. Considered a fault in dairy goats, it can inhibit easy milking, but it makes the goat more sure-footed and agile on rocky terrain. A tendency towards hockiness is precisely what makes Oberhausley goats appealing as pack goats. They're also unafraid of water and don't need special training for it. The ancestors of the Oberhausley goat were the land race of the Swiss Alps, so they're well suited to dry mountainous areas and can withstand cold temperatures. However, they are less suited to damp climates where they're prone to internal parasite infection and respiratory diseases. However, as numbers have increased in the United States, Breeders have been able to select for stronger and hardier animals and robustness is approved. Oberhausley does come into season between late August through January when they're in heat for one to two days every 18 to 21 days until they're bred. After successful breeding, their gestation period is 155 days and they often give birth to twins or triplets. The average lifespan of an Oberhausley goat is 8 to 12 years. Oberhausleys will happily browse on shrubs, weeds, herbs, tree bark, and leaves. Allowing them free access to pasture also gives them exercise they need to stay healthy and prevent health problems. Depending upon the size of your pasture, the variety of plants available, and the season, alfalfa hay can and should be offered uh, for free feeding. Like all goats, Oberhausleys are agile and ready jumpers. They're also particularly strong and vigorous, which creates special challenges when fencing them. And they should be given ample space to roam and exercise to prevent unnecessary wear and tear on your fencing. And like all goats, Oberhausleys need periodic hoof trimming and deworming, and they'll struggle if they're kept alone. One final note, if the abundant milk and hardy strength of the Oberhausley haven't won you over already, 
The Oberhausli are also considered to be one of the quiet goat breeds. This may not seem like a thing, but if you've ever kept goats, you get it. So is the Oberhausli right for you? Do you want the taste of cow's milk without the cow? Do you want a pack animal that you can use or rent? Do you want fun, active, yet quiet companion to keep the weeds and grass mowed down? Take a look at the Oberhausli, a breed that may be more difficult to find, but may be just what you're looking for. Speaking of what you're looking for, don't risk missing out on any Hobby Farm Guys videos. Click that subscribe button now. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please give us the old thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, happy hobby farming.